Fieldbus is the name of a family of industrial computer network protocols used for real-time distributed control, standardized as IEC 61158. A complex automated industrial system—such as manufacturing assembly line—usually needs a distributed control system—an organized hierarchy of controller systems—to function. In this hierarchy, there is usually a human-machine interface at the top, where an operator can monitor or operate the system. This is typically linked to a middle layer of programmable logic controllers via a non-time critical communication system At the bottom of the control chain is the field bus that links the PLCs to the components that actually do the work, such as sensors, actuators, electric motors, console lights, switches, valves and contactors. Description Fieldbus is an industrial network system for real-time distributed control. It is a way to connect instruments in a manufacturing plant. Fieldbus works on a network structure which typically allows daisy chain, star, ring, branch, and tree network topologies. Previously, computers were connected using minus 232 rupees serial connections by which only two devices could communicate. This would be the equivalent of the currently used 4 to 20 mA communication scheme which requires that each device have its own communication point at the controller level, while the field bus is the equivalent of the current LAN type connections, which require only one communication point at the controller level and allow multiple hundreds of analog and digital points to be connected at the same time. This reduces both the length of the cable required and the number of cables required. Furthermore, since devices that communicate through field bus require a microprocessor, multiple points are typically provided by the same device. Some field bus devices now support control schemes such as PID control on the device side instead of forcing the controller to do the processing. Topic: History. Arguably the precursor field bus technology is HPIB as described in IEEE 488 1975. It became known as the General Purpose Interface Bus and became a de facto standard for automated and industrial instrument control. See IEEE 488 <laughs> Bitbus The oldest commonly used field bus technology is Bitbus. Bitbus was created by Intel Corporation to enhance use of multibus systems in industrial systems by separating slow I.O. functions from faster memory access. In 1983, Intel created the 8044 Bitbus microcontroller by adding field bus firmware to its existing 8051 microcontroller. Bitbus uses EIA 485 at the physical layer, with two twisted pairs, one for data and the other for clocking and signals. Use of SDLC at the data link layer permits 250 nodes on one segment with a total distance of 13.2 km. Bitbus has one master node and multiple slaves, with slaves only responding to requests from the master. Bitbus does not define routing at the network layer. The 8044 permits only a relatively small data packet 13 bytes, but embeds an efficient set of RAC remote access and control tasks and the ability to develop custom RAC tasks. In 1990, the IEEE adopted Bitbus as the microcontroller system serial control bus .Today BITBUS is maintained by the BEUG, BITBUS European Users Group. Standardization Although Fieldbus technology has been around since 1988, with the completion of the ESA S50.02 standard, the development of the international standard took many years. In 1999, the IEC SC65 C. WG6 Standards Committee met to resolve difference in the draft IEC Fieldbus standard. The result of this meeting was the initial form of the IEC 61158 standard with eight different protocol sets called types, as follows Type 1, Foundation Fieldbus H1, Type 2, ControlNet, Type 3, Profibus, Type 4, PNet, Type 5, Foundation Fieldbus HSE, High Speed Ethernet, 
Type 6 SwiftNet, a protocol developed for Boeing, since withdrawn. Type 7 WorldFIP. Type 8 Interbus Saint. His form of standard was first developed for the European common market, concentrates less on commonality, and achieves its primary purpose elimination of restraint of trade between nations. Issues of commonality are now left to the international consortia that support each of the Fieldbus standard types. Almost as soon as it was approved, the IEC standards development work ceased and the committee was dissolved. A new IEC committee SC65C, MT9 was formed to resolve the conflicts in form and substance within the more than 4,000 pages of IEC 61158. The work on the above protocol types is substantially complete. New protocols, such as for safety field buses or real time Ethernet field buses, are being accepted into the definition of the international field bus standard during a typical five year maintenance cycle. In the 2008 version of the standard, the field bus types are reorganized into communication profile families. CPFs. CPF 1 Foundation field bus, CPF 2 CIP, CPF 3 Profibus. CPF 4 Pnet CPF 5 WorldFIP CPF 6 Interbus CPF 7 SwiftNet withdrawn CPF 8 CC Link CPF 9 Hart CPF 10 VNet IP CPF 11 TCNet CPF 12 Ethercat CPF 13 Ethernet PowerLink CPF 14, EPA CPF 15, Modbus RTPS CPF 16, Sir Cosbeth Foundation Fieldbus and Profibus technologies are now commonly implemented within the process control field, both for new developments and major refits. In 2006, China saw the largest FF Foundation Fieldbus systems installations at Nane and Seco, each with around 15,000 Fieldbus devices connected. IEC 61158 specification There were many competing technologies for Fieldbus and the original hope for one single unified communications mechanism has not been realized. This should not be unexpected since Fieldbus technology needs to be implemented differently in different applications. Automotive Fieldbus is functionally different from process plant control. The final edition of IEC standard IEC 61158 allows eight technologies. IEC 61158 consists of the following parts, under the general title Digital Data Communications for Measurement and Control, Fieldbus for Use in Industrial Control Systems Part 1 – Overview and Guidance for the IEC 61158 series Part 2 – Physical layer specification and service definition Part 3 – Data link service definition Part 4 – Data link protocol specification Part 5 – Application layer service definition Part 6 – Application layer protocol specification Standards There are a wide variety of competing fieldbus standards. Some of the most widely used ones include AS Interface CAN Ethercat Foundation Fieldbus Interbus Lawnworks Modbus Profibus BITBUS Component Safetybus P Rapinet C list of automation protocols for more examples Cost advantage The amount of cabling required is much lower in Fieldbus than in 4 to 20 mA installations. This is because many devices share the same set of cables in a multi-dropped fashion rather than requiring a dedicated set of cables per device as in the case of 4 to 20 mA devices. Moreover, several parameters can be communicated per device in a field bus network whereas only one parameter can be transmitted on a 4 to 20 mA connection. Field bus also provides a good foundation for the creation of a predictive and proactive maintenance strategy. The diagnostics available from field bus devices can be used to address issues with devices before they become critical problems. 
Topic: Networking. With the exception of ArcNet, which was conceived as early as 1975 for office connectivity and later found uses in industry, the majority of Fieldbus standards were developed in the 1980s and became fully established in the marketplace during the mid-1990s. In the United States, Alan Bradley developed standards that eventually grew into DeviceNet and ControlNet. In Europe, Siemens and other manufacturers developed a protocol which evolved into Profibus. During the 1980s, to solve communication problems between different control systems in cars, the German company Robert Bosch GmbH first developed the Controller Area Network The concept of CAN was that every device can be connected by a single set of wires, and every device that is connected can freely exchange data with any other device. CAN soon migrated into the factory automation marketplace with many others. Despite each technology sharing the generic name of Fieldbus the various Fieldbus are not readily interchangeable. The differences between them are so profound that they cannot be easily connected to each other. To understand the differences among Fieldbus standards, it is necessary to understand how Fieldbus networks are designed. With reference to the OSI model, Fieldbus standards are determined by the physical media of the cabling, and layers 1, 2 and 7 of the reference model. For each technology the physical medium and the physical layer standards fully describe, in detail, the implementation of bit timing, synchronization, encoding, decoding, band rate, bus length and the physical connection of the transceiver to the communication wires. The data link layer standard is responsible for fully specifying how messages are assembled ready for transmission by the physical layer, error handling, message filtering and bus arbitration and how these standards are to be implemented in hardware. The application layer standard, in general defines how the data communication layers are interfaced to the application that wishes to communicate. It describes message specifications, network management implementations and response to the request from the application of services. Layers 3 to 6 are not described in Fieldbus standards. <laughs> <laughs> Features Different field buses offer different sets of features and performance. It is difficult to make a general comparison of field bus performance because of fundamental differences in data transfer methodology. In the comparison table below it is simply noted if the field bus in question typically supports data update cycles of 1 millisecond or faster. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Process field bus versus device networks. Requirements of field bus networks for process automation applications flowmeters, pressure transmitters, and other measurement devices and control valves in industries such as hydrocarbon processing and power generation are different from the requirements of field bus networks found in discrete manufacturing applications such as automotive manufacturing, where large numbers of discrete sensors are used including motion sensors, position sensors, and so on. Discrete field bus networks are often referred to as device networks topic <inaudible> ethernet and field bus recently a number of ethernet based industrial communication systems have been established most of them with extensions for real time communication these have the potential to replace the traditional field buses in the long term here is a partial list of the new ethernet based industrial communication systems AFDX Ethercat Ethernet IP Ethernet PowerLink Foundation HSE BACnet Profinet IO Profinet IRT SafetyNet P SERCOS3 Tethernet Varan Rapinet for details see the article on industrial ethernet Safety Fieldbus can be used for systems which must meet safety-relevant standards like IEC 61508 or N954-1. Depending on the actual protocol, Fieldbus can provide measures like counters, CRCs, echo, timeout, unique sender and receiver IDs or cross-check. 
Ethernet, IP, and SERCOS3 both use the CIP safety protocol. Ethernet PowerLink uses OpenSafe T, while Foundation Fieldbus and Profibus Profisafe can address SIL 2 and SIL 3 process safety applications. In January 2006, the Fieldbus Foundation announced that Tuve Rhineland Industry Service GmbH, Automation, Software and Information Technology, a global, independent and accredited testing agency, had granted protocol type approval for its safety specifications. The Foundation Technical Specifications, Safety Instrumented Functions are in compliance with International Electrotechnical Commission 61508 Standard Functional Safety of Electrical, Electronic, Programmable Electronic Safety Related Systems requirements up to, and including, Safety Integrity Level 3 Market In process control systems, the market is dominated by Foundation Fieldbus and Profibus PA. Both technologies use the same physical layer two-wire Manchester encoded current modulation at 31.25 kHz but are not interchangeable. As a general guide, applications which are controlled and monitored by PLCs programmable logic controllers tend towards Profibus, and applications which are controlled and monitored by a DCS digital, distributed control system tend towards Foundation Fieldbus. Profibus technology is made available through Profibus International with headquarters in Karlsruhe, Germany. Foundation Fieldbus technology is owned and distributed by the Fieldbus Foundation of Austin, Texas. See also Parallel redundancy protocol Media redundancy protocol Notes References Chatha, Andrew, 1994 Fieldbus, The Foundation for Field Control Systems Control Engineering, May, 47–50. Furness, Harry, 1994. Digital Communications Provides. Control Engineering, January, 23–25. Furness, Harry, 1994. Fieldbus, The Differences Start from the Bottom Up Control Engineering, March, 49–51. Fowey, Ken, 1993. Fieldbus Hits the Road Chemical Engineering, September, 37–41. Johnson, Dick, 1994. The Future of Fieldbus at Milestone 1995 Control Engineering, December, 49–52. Luce, Graham, 1994. When Can the Process Industry Use Fieldbus? Control and Instrumentation, May, 63–65. Speer, Mike, 1993. Fieldbus faces up to first trials process engineering, March, P36. Lasher, Richard J. Fieldbus Advancements and Their Implications Control Engineering, July, 33–35. Pearson, Linda L. Broader Fieldbus Standards Will Improve System Functionality Control Engineering, November, 38–39. Powell, James and Henry Vandalin 2009, Catching the Process Fieldbus – An Introduction to Profibus for Process Automation www.measuremax.ca. Patel, Kernish Foundation Fieldbus Technology and Its Applications O'Neill, Mike 2007. Advances in Fieldbus – Process Industry Informer, January, 36–37. N. P. Mahalik, P. R. Moore 1997, Fieldbus Technology-Based, Distributed Control in Process Industries, a Case Study with Lawnworks Technology ARC Advisory Group 2008, Foundation Fieldbus Safety Instrumented Functions Forge the Future of Process Safety Bibliography Babb, Michael, 1994. Will Maintenance Learn to Love Fieldbus? Control Engineering, January, 19. Babb, Michael, 1994. Summer, 1994, Another Fieldbus Delay, Schneider's DPV, and Open Systems Control Engineering, July, 29. Gokorsh, Steve, 1994. Another Scenario, Maintenance Will Learn to Love Fieldbus Control Engineering, June, 112–114.
Gunnell, Jeff. 1994. Analyzer links can use Fieldbus control and instrumentation. March 33 to 35. Hodgkinson, Jeff. 1994. Communications. Are we listening? Process Engineering, Instrumentation Supplement 1994, S19S21 Jones, Jeremy, 1992. Can Fieldbus Survive? Control and Instrumentation, August, 25–26. Carriage, Brian, 1994. Network Vendors Agonize Over Fieldbus Standarden, April 28–45–46. Ratchi, J. Namur says yes to fieldbus technology and the promise of reduces costs control and instrumentation, September, 33–34. Reeve, Allen, 1993. Fieldbus—are users involved? Control and instrumentation, August, 25–26. Speer, Mike, 1994. A plant view of fieldbus in use process engineering, April, 38–39. Speer, Mike, 1994. Fieldbus ready to start the last lap? Process Engineering, April, 37. Topic: External links. USA Fieldbus Foundation Foundation Fieldbus End User Councils Middle East Foundation Fieldbus End User Council Middle East Australia Foundation Fieldbus End User Council Australia Inc.